I fell in love with him the minute I met him. He took me out on my first date. He was Prince Charming. But I'm afraid that he is gonna kill her. All he does is put his hands on her, freaking hit her. She comes home with black eyes, scratches all over her neck, he stomps on her stomach. He pulls her hair out and leaves big bald spots on the side of her head. She needs to get away from him. If that was my sister, I'd probably do the same thing you did, okay? But you can't do it. He has abused me, he has hit me and stuff. I could see hair pulled out of her head. Yeah. What if I just grabbed the big... Yeah, but if he was a good man in the beginning, he can be a good man again, right? A guy like this doesn't change. I love you. Hey, mm -hmm. do not touch her on my stage. You don't deserve that, Patty. You don't deserve it. You got to make a choice. I'll take it from here. Betty wants to prove to her boyfriend, Michael, that she's not cheating on him. She says shortly after they moved in together, Michael became extremely controlling and jealous. The verbal abuse quickly turned physical, and now Betty's family is telling her to choose her abusive boyfriend or her family. Take a look. I am here because I want to get my sister help of the relationship that she's in. This man's already been arrested twice for beating up my baby sister. All he does is put his hands on her, freaking hit her, he treats her like total crap. She comes home with black eyes, scratches all over her neck, he stomps on her stomach. He pulls her hair out and leaves big bald spots on the side of her head. She's left, she's had him arrested, and she's still gone back. He won't let her talk to us, he won't let her see us, he, he's completely brainwashed her. Me and my family have tried to convince her to leave. If she don't get help, I'm afraid that he is gonna kill her. I, I can't take anymore. She's gotta choose between us or him. And I want her to get some help. Buddy, that's your brother and sister on the tape. Is what they're saying true? Yes, it is. It is true? Yes. Okay. Um, how did you meet your boyfriend? I met him on a dating online site. On an online dating service? Yeah. Um, and how long ago was that? It was in May, May of 2011. Okay, so you've been dating almost a year. Almost a year, yes. And when you first met him? He was great. He was Prince Charming. He, he did everything for me. He bought me a bunch of stuff. I've never had a guy buy me anything. He took me out on my first date. 28, I've never been on a date until last year. And he was, he, he's the guy that I want to marry and start a family with and just be with forever. I just can't deal with his controlling issues and his accusing me of cheating. Now, you had a couple jobs, I yes. was told, and he, he made you quit those jobs. Yes. And why did he make you quit your jobs? Because he thought I was cheating with coworkers. Okay. If I came home four minutes late, it was a big fight because he thought I was cheating in those four minutes. And, and, and listen, um, you seem like a very nice woman in just the short amount of time that I'm talking to you. And you explained just now, which can't be easy to open up about your life, that you never even had a date until you dated him, right? All right. And you were almost 28 years old. Right. So you shared that with him when you started dating with him, right? Yes. So. You tell him this, and then he assumes the next minute now you waited for him, and now you're cheating on him. Yes. I, I fell in love with him the minute I met him. As soon as he opened my car door, he had my heart. It, there was no answers or buts about it. He had the key to my heart. Um, when did things start going bad? Um, a couple of months after we met, I thought, we thought it was a good idea that to save money, he moved in with me. We could, the rent was cheaper, or the bills were gonna be cheaper and everything. And you wanted to be with him. Yes, I do, and I still no. do. You still do? Yes, I love him um, dearly. And you know, it's, it's, and you know who else really loves you dearly? My family. Your family. Um, When you watch your brother, when you watch your sister, who became very emotional on that tape, how does that make you feel? 
It makes me feel sad because he's kept me away for so long. He's kept you away from your family. Yes. He won't, he, what I've been told from my producers is he doesn't allow you to give him your address or your phone number. All right. Why in the world can't your family have contact with you? Because my family do, does not believe in hitting women. And because he has abused me, he has hit me and stuff. Sounds like you got a pretty good family. Yeah. I got a wonderful family. And, you know, and here you're talking to me, and I'm a fan, all right? I think you're a sweet woman with a nice family. And I hear, you know, your boyfriend uh, makes you quit jobs. This is like the ultimate control show. Won't let your brother and sister know where you live, have your phone number, um, and then I hear he's punched you, smacked you. He's pulled hair out of my head. He's pulled given, chunks. Pulled yeah, chunks. He's given me ball spots. He's scratched my face up and left scars on um, my face. Left scars on your face, which yep. I can visibly see. Yes. When you look in the mirror, when you look at the scars, it's do you say? It's a constant remember of that night all the time. I, I try to hide with makeup. How do you those scars anyways? His nails. He His just nails. scratched me. It's a constant reminder of the abuse. So this is extreme, extreme physical abuse. Yes, I know. That's why I want it to stop. I'm hoping. Why wouldn't you just stop I, seeing this guy? I can't. I've left him so many times and I just keep coming back because he goes, baby, I promise it won't ever happen but again. But then how long does it take for it to happen all over? A couple of weeks. A couple of weeks. I love him so much though. I don't, I know he can be a better man. I know he can. How? He, how, how do you know that? Because he was that way when I first met him. Yeah, because a lot of times people put, they don't, they put on a fake phony front to get what they want. Yeah, but and if then he they, was, their, their true self comes out in the long run. Yeah, but if he was a good man in the beginning, he can be a good man again, right? Why isn't he a good man all the time? Why, why does he just be good all the time? You know what? When I first started dating my wife, I walked around and I opened the car door and I opened the doors for her and I did all that stuff too because I really wanted to be with her. And her family gets to call her and they know where we live. And I never pull my wife's hair out or punch or kick, spit, call her names, nothing. Because that's the way I was when I first started dating her and that's the way I've always been for 15 years. <laughs> And all I'm saying is, you deserve the same thing. You deserve the same thing. I do. I can see hair pulled out of her head. Yeah. What if I just grab the big... Yeah, no. A guy like this doesn't change. I love you. Hey, do not touch her on my stage. I'm taking it you didn't call my show. Yes, I did. Oh, you did call. I called. I called because the abuse needs to stop. You want the abuse to stop? I, I need know, the name calling to stop. I need everything to stop. You need to everything stop. to stop. And I need to prove to him that I have never, ever, ever cheated on him. What do you hope happens today? I hope he finally realizes what he's got and that I just got faith in my heart that he will change for me and and you know listen we get we i do the show you know we do five shows a week and most of the time i don't hear about the guests before they come on the show mm -hmm. my wife who runs my show the executive producer says your boyfriend not only is he bad to you he's been a pain in the ass ever since he got here like he he's like my producers he he don't want to do this he blows up in the lie detector he blows up in the green room Blows up at my producers. This is the kind of guy, he's a pain in the ass with everybody. I want you to know, no matter what happens on the show today, I'm your new friend, and you can call me, and whatever you need, we're going to help you with, and if it doesn't work out with him, we're going to find you somebody else.
Let's meet Mr. Wonderful. It's because you were cheating because I was, you've been coming home late for work. You say four minutes late. Do you not late? realize traffic lights change? Do you not realize that? <laughs> yes, I do. And, but, you but do you not. Gotta, you got to realize stuff, too. I mean, it's, it's a two-way street. Love is a two-way street. I know it's not Look, right. When I, did I ever question you when you came home late from work? When? Never. Exactly. Why Which, should you have to question why me? Why would you be talking to some other kid when I first met you? You've been at my house two nights. You, you were at my apartment when I met you two nights. Okay? You're talking to this kid on the phone. Okay, and I said, who's that? Okay, it's my old friend. I'm oh, not I can't allowed talk to, to you on Facebook no more. I'll have, but why would you have to, okay, why wouldn't you say, okay. why would you have to hide it? Why would you have to hide it? Why am I not allowed well, hold to Hold on, friends? hold on a second here. I'll take it from here. Um, I can't have no friends. You didn't have no friends. <laughs> You've abused her, right? Yes, and she's abused me also. Oh, Where's your scars? Where's my scars? Yeah, where's your scars? I got scars, trust me. I can see hers. I can see hers on her face. I'm I can, see, I can see hair pulled out of her head. Yeah. What if I just grab the big yeah, thing? Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I came on the show. I wanted to work. I wanna, you want to work I, things out? Yeah, I do. Why? That's because I love her. Because you love her. Yes. You spit on her face. After she gave me a fat lip, yes. I spit the blood back out of her face. You were attacking me. You attacking. pushed me you pushed me into the kitchen sink. Oh. You had me bent over the bathroom. You punched sink. her, you slapped her, you pulled her hair out, you gave her scars on her face. And this is the woman that you love. Yes. How do you consider I'm that with, love? How come she can't her brother and sister can't have her address and her phone number? Her phone because I don't want them to know where I live because I can't stand neither one of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why? Because I can't, because for one, uh, I just can't, I, I just don't like it. I've never told, See, made you to your family. You know, what, you know I, I don't know why, and I've been doing this for a long time. When she tells the story, I, I, for some reason, I think I'm going to see some badass come out, right? Mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> and then I, I see the, the squirrely, wormy guy come out. Um, And then, I always make this point. If you and me were dating, <laughs> you wouldn't treat me like you treat her. No. You know why? You know, you know why, right? No, why? Because it wouldn't last two seconds. If that was my sister, I'd probably do the same thing you did, okay? But you can't do it. You don't deserve that, Patty. You don't deserve it. You gotta make a choice. I'll take it from here. Get off my stage! to treat me like you treat her. You're probably right about right, that. Right, so what does that say about you? I'm not just trying to justify myself. No, what you I'm sound trying like you to are. Say, you, no, I'm not. you know what? What I'm trying You've to say. You've done nothing but, listen, she, okay. first of all, first of all, this young woman opens up to you yeah. and says, hey, I, I, men have not always been coming after me, treating me nice. You're the first date that she ever went on. And I never She's 28 years old. She says, yeah, you were She's nice young. to her. She needs to grow up, I realize that. 
No, you need to grow uh, up. Well, you know, well, I mean, but listen, this is what I'm trying to say. You're saying, okay, I made you quit your job. I never, I told you not to quit your job. You and you and you in. I'm supposed to just deal with the accusing every not, day when I come but, home. If I come home no, late, you're not. I've tried explaining to you over and over again that I'm not cheating, and you look at me and you call me a whore, a, a slut, a fat ass. You call me a no good what? piece. When, when there's a few drinks involved, right? So that makes it better? No, I don't. But that's when I do it. You need because to stop Michael, why, why is she here today? She's here today because she wanted to take a lie detector test to say that, uh, to prove that she wasn't cheating on me. Do you think she's cheating on you? I honestly, at first I did, but now, no, I don't. <laughs> at, at first I did, but I don't. See, now he's playing... He's playing. No, I'm not playing. What? Well, no, I'm you telling, are. You're playing. asking you're playing me. You're playing the I'm game. You're tough guy at home. I'm a tough you're guy. You're tough guy, Michael, like at home. Her, and now he's you know like, she's so, oh no, she, I she gets her family before. involved so, but no, so much. But what, it's like, what if I don't wasn't, like is that if, he's still saying, no, I don't want my, I don't want her brother and sister to know where I live. They're painting the ass. Not to do, I met her brother once. He seemed like a good guy. Well, you know, if somebody was kicking my sister's ass, I'd be kicking his ass. Try like hell. That's all I got Try? What are you talking about trying? I'm just letting you know, buddy, that I do love you. And, uh, you know, I came you know, out. Right, that's you know, why I'll I came stop you right that's there. That's why I came It's on easy that's to say. You know, it's okay. easy to say. Okay, wait. Hey, right. I'm talking now. <laughs> it's, it's real easy to say the words, I love you. It's really, anybody can say that. If you truly, truly love somebody, you would never think about harming them. You would never think about calling them fat, a bitch. Okay, can uh, I say something? No, I'm not done yet. Okay. When I'm done, I'll allow you to talk. <laughs> and you know what, you're one of a million guys that abuses women and you have an excuse for it. No, you I'm want not, to reason it out. To it's not and then whatever she did, she did this or did that, I don't give a damn. You think it's you right? You get out of the apartment, you get out of the house, you go away. I tried doing that. Oh, you tried? Yes, I did. Were you trying when you the were first ripping time? her hair out of her head? When you were leaving these scars on her face? No, when you were holding me back, so I trying. can't leave. She don't understand how, it, when... I walk at how she felt when I was going to walk out the door, but it's all right for her to walk out the door and go to, even if when we are you're punching me and pulling hair if, out of my head and making my face even all even bloody, if it's yes. not physical, you still go to your parents' house, you sit there at the kitchen table for two days, don't answer your phone for me, don't do nothing, talk about me, and I don't really even know your parents you know that well, I've, I've never talked about you. The only to thing I've ever told my family is that I love you and I love you more than anything in this world. And I love you too. Show it once in a while. Jeez. Is that too much to I ask? Don't show, I never show it. No, I, I don't never. feel that you love me. You don't I feel, feel that you? I feel that you're hiding you're, something you're, from me. And I want to know what it is. You ain't hiding nothing from you. You want to bring out the brother and sister? Yeah! yeah. Let's bring out your brother and sister. A guy like this doesn't change. I love you, buddy. Hey, do not touch her on my stage. You don't deserve that, Petty. You don't deserve it. You gotta make a choice. I'll take it from here. If that was my sister, I'd probably do the same thing you did, okay? But you can't do it. You don't deserve that, Petty! You don't deserve it! You gotta make a choice. Let's bring out your brother and sister.
you okay? Stay right here for me, okay? I'm no, good, I'm fine. Nobody could understand more than me your feeling, okay? If that was my sister, I'd probably do the same thing you did, okay? okay. But you can't do it. You're here today because I you're concerned about your sister. Right. Now I'm telling you once, you cannot go out there and fight. Okay. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Okay. You're gonna keep your hands to yourself, yes, right? Sir. If you don't, we're gonna drag you off stage and probably have you locked up. Okay. So don't do it. Okay. All right. deserve it. You don't deserve it at all, Bat. You're oh. too sweet. You're too nice. You you will give the shirt off your back for anybody. Anybody. You don't deserve that, Betty. You don't, don't you deserve want me it. To be happy? I want you to be happy, but I don't want that to make you happy. That is a low life. Oh no 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 no! No! Once you start hitting, once you start hitting women, you ain't gonna stop. You are not gonna stop. How many times has he been arrested before you? Some people for can women? change. No. They just need a little boost to change. Where? But I do love him too. No. Bet, you gotta, you gotta make a choice. We're here for you. We're gonna be here until the day you die, Bet. But we're not gonna let him put you there. We're not gonna let him put you there. We're gonna be here. We love you. This is real love. That's not. Look at that freaking TV when he's he's lying right through his freaking teeth. He has no emotions, Bat. He has nothing. He's a piece of garbage. <laughs> Women beaters? No. Child molesters? No. They're all the same. They're all the same. And they don't need to be, they don't even need to breathe. Um, they don't need to breathe. I want to hear what you have Good to say. Job. I she needs to get away from him. I don't want to go to a fu funeral. <laughs> Cannot though. We will if you keep staying with him. No. You need help. He's getting better. He he no, will get not. better. No. Yes, he will. But we can't even millions, see you. There are millions of guys out there that will treat you like the queen that you are. <laughs> Betty, we're not even allowed to talk to you. We don't even know where you live, for God's sakes. We don't even know that you are alive. Because of him, he won't let us. He won't let you talk to us. Oh. Now, you, you deleted family from Facebook. Bitch. Why? Because of him. Because of him. I'm tired of him checking up on me. I'd rather he, just delete it. Yeah, why don't you find somebody that you don't have to worry about that? Somebody that you can go home and snuggle up to, and when you say I love you, you know it's coming from the heart, and you get it back. These are just words. No, no. Anybody can say I love you. Hey, I love you. I just told the whole audience I love them. Anybody can use them words. I love you. Hey, do not touch her on my stage. You know, that I understand that you want to be with somebody. I understand that. Everybody, I mean most people, they want to be with somebody. They want to have somebody of their own, somebody to love them. But this guy's delivering love on the back of his hand. Yep. You know, he's, he's not delivering it from his heart. Uh, and see, the thing about this guy, I grew up with some guys like this, okay? And the thing about it, they don't change. A guy like this doesn't change. Because what, just from what I hear on my stage, he wants to make excuses, and then what do most abusers do? Oh, well, you hit me once, you did this, you stopped me, you did this. No, because, listen, I don't care what anybody says. When you're a man, 
and your woman's getting whatever, leave. And he's had plenty of opportunity to leave. He hasn't left. And the short amount, listen, most relationships in that first year, that's supposed to be golden time, man. That's why I thought. Right. Yep. Exactly. And if it, you know, and then through, for many, many reasons, children, financial stresses, job losses, death, relationships become rocky at times. You've had any of that. You help them in your house. You let them stay there to save on bills. You work. So what is the issue this first year? Because this guy is Mr. Paranoid that you're doing this and you're doing that when you haven't done anything. I'm, I'm just assuming you haven't done anything. But you say you haven't done anything, I believe it. He will, he's so controlling, he doesn't even want your family in your life. It's and not- you know what? The, the thing that gives me the greatest enjoyment of my life is my family. My family. You took a lie detector test. Yes. Does anybody, and I, you know, I've been wrong before, not very often, <laughs> who thinks that Betty has been unfaithful? One person. Could it be? But you came here and we asked you, while in a relationship with Michael, have you ever had sexual, physical contact with anyone else? You said no, you told the truth. (laughs) While in a relationship with Michael, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else? You answered no, you told the truth. While you were still employed, did you come home late from work because you were cheating on Michael? You answered no. And you told the truth. Thank you very much for believing in me. Um, usually, like, I'll go over to the other person and say, well, how do you feel now? I don't give a how he feels, okay? <laughs> You still want to be with this guy? Why? Do you want me to read his results? Because you know, sometimes when you're mashing your fist on her face or kicking her or scratching her, when you when you when you're scratching. When you're scratching her with your lady fingernails and carving up her face. (laughs) Oh, I'm not laughing about that. I'm laughing laughing about the way you said it is what I'm laughing at. Okay. But you know the pain that you cause her physically? Yeah, I do. Do you want me to read these? Sure. And what if you cause her pain emotionally now? There ain't no way it can because I haven't done nothing. There's no way. Nope. No way. Nope. Because you're an honorable guy. I think I am. I think I, I mean, I don't think I'm right for what I've done, but it takes two. I mean, she's hit me before I've ever laid a hand on her. She hit me first. It don't matter. Do you want this, Joe? You got this. You got real love. You got real love. Betty, can I talk to you after the show? Betty. Betty, can I talk to you after the show at least? No. No. Hold on. The truth of it is, if she wants to talk to you after the show, she will. Nobody can stop her if she wants to talk to you. Women make bad decisions, well, men and women, but women make bad decisions all the time when it comes to guys like you. If they didn't, I wouldn't, I'd be unemployed. <laughs> but you came here and you took a lie detector yeah. test. And I want to thank you for keeping me employed. <laughs> While in a relationship with Betty, have you ever had sexual, physical contact with anyone else? And you, he said no. While in a relationship with Betty, have you ever had sexual intercourse with anyone else? And he said no. And the results for both questions came back the same. And they came back that Michael
Mal das war. Ja, mein Stil. And the results for both questions came back the same. And they came back that Michael did not tell the truth. See? You see? Told you he was gone. You see, buddy? <laughs> hey, you no got mom. the love right here, but. Matt, you got the love right here. It's not true. You got so the love good, from man. the fan. It's How are you going to say it's not true? That thing you got no idea what you did, man. Hold on. Go ahead. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. Slow down. Right, There's no love there. Hold on. Hey, he just wants to show you love. That's all. That's all. He just wants well, to show you love. You want to let him come over and give me a hug, Steve? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I want to okay. thank you two for supporting your sister. I know no matter... You talk to me. I know course. no matter what no, happens, you will be there for your sister. I know that. Hell, through, I want to thank everything. you for coming on. You guys can exit right there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Please. Now, stay three, away from ready? me, please. Well, you don't. You do not have to worry. Um, hey, do not touch her on my stage. So am I going to be able to get home, Steve, or not? Because I want, I want to just go You can home. go home anytime you want. Click your heels three times. I just want to go home. I do. It's, I can't believe I did this, and now okay. it's... You don't. You can't believe it. No, I don't believe that. Okay. Well, do you do you believe it? That's all that matters. Okay. You believe uh, that. Hold on one. Yeah, you let's let's around. let's find out. Have you been let's with me? Let's find out. Dan Betty, it was Cough, you missed After we met, uh, hey, three weeks. I have a guest on stage, all right? Be quiet. You, uh, Dan, you administer all our lie detector tests. Uh, I understand that you have something to enlighten us about his test. The icing on the cake for you, Steve. He comes in and basically says, oh, I thought she was going to take the polygraph test. Why do I have to? I said, well, if you've seen the show, you know we test both sides. Openly admits to me, I'm going to fail this test. What if I say that I just cheated once in the beginning? I said, well, I'll change the question. Besides once in the beginning, have you cheated again? For like four days so that nicks his here. He doesn't you like that. Me. I said, why don't you just come clean and confess and fix soft, it? Honey. He doesn't like that idea either. She wants to listen. So he doesn't like the idea of coming out and being a man and confessing what he's done. So he goes, okay, I'll take the test. Takes the test, Stop. flunks it miserably as... We all know that he would. That's the results of the test, Steve. Thanks for coming on. Thank man. you so much. Okay. So, can, I, can you please okay. stop? You said you could, no matter what. Hey, you said no matter what happens, I'm going to show you Hold talk. on. Hold on. Um, I don't want to... You know what? I lived freaking 10 months with you. <laughs> Will you tell me I was cheating on you? I wasn't telling you that. I was, yes, I, you were. Sure? Call me a whore and a, and a slut. I can't not believe you cheated on me. I, I, no, oh, I don't even want to hear from you right now. Hold on, hold on. You? Hold on. So I'm, no, you know you what, Betty? Home, here's, you, here's. Are you going to go home with me on the plane and meet me friends? You accuse me. You accuse me when you're doing it. I told I, you you had something is, to hide. It was, it was right after. The I don't care. We were still you're together. Still, we, you failed the lie detector test. And the more you keep going down and piping about, it can't be wrong. No, no. You lied. And you did something. Here's your chance to be a man and tell her what you did. When two weeks, two to three weeks after the relationship, it's before we moved in your trailer, I went downtown. You know, and we, I don't think we were really... I mean, we were seeing each other, and I went girls, and she gave me all right. And, and I'm telling you the truth, and I'm very sorry. And, and I know it, everyone's been, I love you, honey. Oh, that's love. I told you. 
Please be a friend. Can we can, can we work this out and be friends? You get some love counseling? me so much that you're willing to let somebody I'm willing else. To, I'm willing to go. Oh. Can we leave together, buddy? Can you? I mean, please, like we discussed. You know well, what? You, well, you know, you know what you said to me. Do you remember what you said to me, baby? You said if I ever cheated on you, it was over. So guess what? <laughs> Goodbye. In all the years I've been doing the show, you know how many times we had a standing ovation, they chanted somebody's name? This is the first time. <laughs> and you know why? Because we all like you, Betty. We all like you. We all want the best for you. Everybody's rooting for Betty. Me. <laughs> I want to say, you're one of the most beautiful guests we've ever had on the show. Yes, yes. Um, and you are so fortunate to have a family that loves you as much as they do. You, you made a mistake. You've been cloudy up here about this guy. You're going to leave this stage. People are going to watch this show, and you're going to be deluged with calls and emails people wanting to date you, okay? That's right. um, and, and any man that's fortunate to have you is gonna be so lucky to have a woman like you. Thank you. You need to be strong now. Don't go back to being a victim. We are certainly gonna update you. You're gonna come back and you're gonna bring your new boyfriend, the guy that's treating you really good, and we're gonna update that story. Thank you so much. You made the right choice. Don't go anywhere, man. Thank you so much, man. Welcome back. Good job. Good job. Take care of her.